looks like on Tuesday at 1 p.m., uh, the Senate will go into session uh, for the trial. Of course, Chief Justice uh, John Roberts won't be there because this is not an actual president that's being tried, but a private citizen. And there will be four hours of debate. Now, it's not clear if it's four hours for each side or just four hours total. It's like two hours on each side. Four hours of debate about whether or not this is constitutional at all. And then another vote like Rand Paul asked for earlier, last uh, later last uh, last month, where 45 Republicans voted that this is not constitutional, uh, sending a signal that there were not going to be the votes there to impeach uh, President Trump and that he would be acquitted. I think there are even people like Tim Kaine and Joe Manchin on the Democrat side of the aisle that if they were intellectually honest with this, I think they know the Senate doesn't have, jur- just doesn't have jurisdiction here. So look, I don't want to give false hope about what an elected politician is actually going to do, but they do have an obligation under the Constitution to do that analysis and cast a vote first on jurisdiction, regardless of how they feel about the underlying case. So I think you're right. The question is how far above 45 in my view, will that vote go? We're treading on dangerous ground when we decide to go back after a president has left office, assume Senate jurisdiction, and try that person and try to convict that person who is now a private citizen of high crimes and misdemeanors. Key vote is how many of those 45 Republican senators do all 45 vote the same way again? This is unconstitutional after hearing the debate. That's key. Uh, Second, uh, the second biggest vote is probably next week, and it's going to be on witnesses. Because the House held no hearings and called no witnesses, then it's up to the Senate to try and, and execute discovery, as we say. I think many Democrats would like witnesses because their um, case is so weak. But on the other hand, to the extent that they ask for witnesses, this then drags out the proceedings And this reduces uh, the time window uh, that the Senate has to spend on the so-called Biden agenda. The chief justice sent a clear signal that this is not the trial of an actual president, so I'm not going to waste my time sitting there. So you're going to have Pat Leahy instead, uh, who's, you know, going to somehow make decisions which are not going to be good for Republicans ever, considering he's been called uh, by the National Review, even in his older age, the nastiest member of the Democrat Party in the U.S. Senate. I think the Chief Justice uh, decision not to come over said really more than the Supreme Court as a whole could anyway. He's already said that this is not a true impeachment. That's why he's not presiding. President Trump's team, rightfully so, been talking this from the beginning, is going to show the videos of Chuck Schumer talking about the whirlwind and that Gorsuch and Kavanaugh won't know what hit him. And Maxine Waters telling people to harass Trump administration officials wherever they can find them. And the list goes on. I think that the, that they will have uh, that the, they will have their own parade of horribles to show, and I think they'll come back and say, "You know what? This is not this is not prosecutable speech. It's not speech you prosecute. It's not nice, but it's not illegal speech in America, and it's certainly not speech." that you impeach people over. And I think the main reason that video evidence will be allowed is because it fits the House manager's case right now. Without being able to show that video, I'm not sure uh, where they yeah. would start. So I think I think that's why the decision has been made. But look, if, if uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, and I, I think the uh, defense team likely will show video to show the double standard. I never, Harry, want to say it's, o- it's totally over because this is a trial. Witnesses could get called. Democrats control the Senate now. And and this could go, this could get really out of hand very quickly. Politicians are notorious for one thing, not having a real spine. So it's possible that politicians could vote uh, that this particular trial is indeed unconstitutional, but then at the end of the trial say, well, we will vote uh, to perhaps uh, convict. Uh, I think uh, an acquittal is the most likely outcome, uh, and certainly if you look at the text of the Constitution, the Constitution demands that particular outcome. And secondarily, if you actually look at the House of Representatives' factual case, uh, their theory of the case is that the president incited essentially a riot that was already Uh, taking place we have to remember the democrats are in control Mm -hmm. witnesses could get out of control and this could go into the weeks i don't think the democrats want that to happen but if it does then everything kind of goes out the window